I really wasn't gonna do it, but you've been asking for it. You forced my hand and I did it. I got the Nerf Terra Scout. This guy's been out for a little while, but um, here in Canada, it's $300. And anywhere else, you can't really find it for much cheaper than that. This is arguably Nerf's most expensive release ever. And in today's video, we are going to see if this guy is worth that crazy price tag. So, it's really hard to frame this video getting me in it as well as this box because it's huge. Nowadays, a common trend is a lot of these blasters come in open face style boxes. Meaning that you can touch the blaster and see it and uh, almost like a try me. And I guess that's a marketing tactic because the kids will see the blaster and actually be able to touch it and feel it and they'll be like, oh man, I want to have that now. But back in my day, because I'm so old, everything used to be enclosed in boxes and that was a marketing tactic. You see pictures, you see details of all the things it can do. But the mystery lies inside and that's what we have here, a fully enclosed box that weighs quite a bit with this ominous Terra Scout inside. It comes with the drone, if you want to call it that, as well as the controller, 18 Elite Darts, I believe it comes with a uh, magazine. Taking a look at the back here, yeah, 18 Dart Clip Fed Blasting adjustable angle the drone turns 360 degrees obviously and you can record the battles onto the controller with an sd card you get to see live video feed out of the out of the camera built into this drone it's madness so let's go ahead and dive in here uh before i do though worth mentioning the controller takes four AA batteries and the rc actually has a special i think it's lithium ion or nickel metal hydride Either or, it's a uh, really fancy rechargeable battery, which is really, really awesome. It means that for once, a Nerf product isn't gonna take 10D batteries. It's actually a good RC solution. So this is a uh, bona fide RC drone. There's also a sticker on my box that says only available Toys R Us. So if you're North American, that may be something worth noting. I got mine for a little bit cheaper by pre-ordering it on the uh, website a little while ago. All right, pulling it out here. Okay, so this is box number one. And there's more in here. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay, here's the other piece. This is legitimately the most excited I've been for a Nerf gun in a very long time. This right here just kind of feels like a rapid strike to me. That is awesome. Okay, we'll talk about the features of this in just a moment. For now, let me put it aside, see what's in this bigger box. Whoa! And here's the uh, the base as well as the darts and everything else. We got a uh, clip or magazine, whatever you want to call it. This is the bottom of the RC drone, which feels really high quality stuff. That is great. Set that aside, we also have the instruction manual here which for once might be a uh, good idea to look at. We also have the LCD controller, our 18 darts as promised, and here is our battery and charger. Okay, so this drone is in fact roughly 250 bucks, which is a lot, but when you think about it, a high quality RC drone is expensive. RC tech is fairly expensive, so just to buy an RC drone of this scale without shooting any Nerf darts would be relatively expensive. This Nerf bit is just a little extra something something. Here's the battery. As you can see, it's actually Nerf brand, which is crazy, and I was correct. It is a nickel metal hydride right there, 9.6 volt, 1500 milliamp, and this guy is rechargeable, which is great. Depending on how serious you are, these little guys will fry your battery. You can get smart chargers for these things, uh, typically seen in things like airsoft guns. But basically smart chargers can feel the battery and they know when to stop charging it. Because when you overcharge batteries like this, it can really damage them. And in some cases, they will just catch on fire. So, be careful. I'm sure Nerf doesn't mention that. Maybe they do, but... Yeah, definitely something to be aware of. When using these cheap brick chargers for these nice batteries, it, it will overheat it. And it says the battery pack may be hot after charging. Yeah, so this charger won't be bad, but it's worth taking a look at getting a nicer one if you're serious about it. So that's everything. Battery charger, darts, 
clip slash magazine controller, the bottom and the top. So let's go ahead and start looking at the bottom here. This is kind of it. It's got some uh, ribbon cables down in the middle there. A couple other buttons, on button, stuff like that. Different channels for the RC. But there's also a ribbon cable on the top piece and you can just connect those really nice, easy to connect. And then everything's gonna like slide in. I'm going to go ahead and connect these right now, just like so. And now the wires just kind of cram down in there, slide this to the front, and it locks in place, and boom bang, Terrascoat assembled. Super simple. Magazine goes in the side. I think that looks pretty funny. I'd personally do something like this. Yeah, that's cooler. Boom. That drum is much cooler. Let's leave that drum in there, shall we? This 18 rounder, not my style. This video might be a little long because, uh, well, it ain't your average Nerf blaster, that's for sure. I've gone ahead and plugged in the battery to charge and there is a red light, which I'm presuming will turn green when the battery is done. So that's one step better. At least you know when your battery's done instead of guessing. So although I'm using the awesome looking drum, I'm only gonna load in 18 uh, so that we're shooting just as many as you would get in the box. Kind of weird that for that much money they only give you 18 darts in a single clip. But hey, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Terrascout here. So, first of all, I'm just gonna say this thing has a barrel extension. That means you can get as crazy as you want and throw on any barrels you so desire. This is a small one, of course you could do a long one. I think that actually really just sharpens up the look. They have a tactical rail on the bottom. Not exactly sure what you could put on there. Maybe a laser pointer or something. But they also have one on the top, which again, if it's long range, you're not gonna need a scope. So I'm not sure what you could put on those tactical rails, realistically, but hey, they put two on right there. Barrel extension, got some sling points. I don't know why you'd be slinging this, but it's all well and good. On the left side of the blaster is where the magazine well is. You just pop the magazine in and then take it out. Orange button on the back that you push in and that will then deploy the mag. I kind of briefly mentioned this, but down here are the orange buttons. One is a power on and off and the other one's a channel selector. So if you're not getting a good signal from one channel, you can, or if you're using multiple drone battles with your friends, you can do different channels. You've got these rubber tank tread which is awesome. We got a camera right here and a microphone right there. That's very nice. Jam door on the other side right there. And probably the coolest thing, for storage purposes, there is a couple tabs on the back here as well as on the controller. And they actually slide together like that. So now the controller's mounted on the back of the Terrascout for storage and stuff, which is, uh, Quite awesome. Last thing on the drone is that the batteries go in this massive Nerf door in the bottom. And that's that's about it for the main drone, actually. Looks kind of big, looks kind of complicated, but it's really not. I think more complicated is this controller. So like I mentioned, four double A's in the back cavity right there. This little plastic shield actually doubles as a sun visor as they advertise, so um, you can see the LCD screen really well, although LCD is supposed to be really good in light. This is a status light, and this will actually trigger the recording of video. Just like on the drone, we have the power button here, as well as the channel selectors. So this stick only goes up and down, and this one only goes left and right. This one will move the machine forwards and back, and this one will spin it side to side. Turning this guy around here, this is your elevation switch. So when you push this up, it's going to raise the angle of your firing and down will lower it again. And this is your uh, firing trigger. So if you just do this to the controller, it's gonna fire one dart. And if you hold down, it'll keep shooting. That's about it. Last thing I forgot to mention is that on the top port right here is the spot for the SD card to record the video to. Believe it or not, as far as I can tell for $250, they did not include an SD card. So you're gonna have to put your own in there. Um, so I'm gonna get the batteries charged up, throw in the SD, batteries in the controller, the whole nine yards, and we'll go do some firing. All right guys, we are outside. Uh, apologize if there's any wind noise, but got the remote here. Uh, it's on channel one as well as the drone. Let's go ahead, we don't need the uh, sunshade today. Now let's turn them on at the same time here. 
we got a red light on the remote and a green one on the uh, drone here. And it's actually synced up. So check that out. We got the image right there pulled up on the screen. It looks pretty good actually. Can't wait to throw it in the computer and I'll give you guys a uh, side by side comparison. But let's go ahead. Everything's paired up and we can kind of play around with it a little. All right, so let's hit record. It is now blinking red and there's a little record thing, which means it's recording. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and see if this thing can drive down that little rail there, uh, down the deck. Oh yeah, it's fine. I didn't fully charge the drone, I'm gonna be honest, I was just excited to play with it. So I, uh, I took off right away. I'm pretty sure this is full speed. I don't know how it could be any better. And I used it a little bit inside because that's obvious. It, it performs really well inside. Just cruise it around here. All right, I could play around with this thing for a long time, but let's go ahead and do some other tests like going, going up these rocks. Whoa! Almost wheelied. As you can see, that 360 action, the 360s on this thing are awesome. Whoa! So crazy. Oh, that's a tree. Alright guys, we still got, uh, we got a mission on our hands. We got the angle going, we can angle this guy. It's actually pretty loud when it does that. All right, the camera's lined up in the crosshairs. Let's go ahead and go full auto shooting. Ah, it's a little high. Oh man, this thing shoots so fast. That's it for the Terra Scout. Normally, you know, I when I review, I kind of tell you the pros, the cons, the reasons you might be interested, but I'm not gonna necessarily say you should buy this or you shouldn't buy this because it's your money and your decision. But at the end of the day, Christmas is coming up, all right? And uh, hey, this is some of the most fun I've ever had with Nerf, for sure. This thing shoots really fast. You guys remember, I think, this is the Terra Scout. Do you remember the Terra Drone? Did you remember that walking thing? This is eons ahead of it. This is way better. This is fast. It's pretty fast. The battery lasts so long. It shoots so fast. The only thing is you only get 18 darts, which this thing shoots so fast, you go through that insanely quick. So get a big drum, have tons of extra clips and magazines and all that. The video isn't the best, but at the end of the day, I still think it's a pretty cool feature, especially because it has crosshairs built onto it and all that. Um, like I say, a regular RC tank that's this large would cost a lot of money. So with this whole Nerf thing on top, it, it, it's awesome. It's awesome. Either if you've got the money for it or you may want to ask for it for Christmas. I don't, I'm just going to say, has the Nerf boy approval. This was fun. There was like an hour of off-camera play that I had with this thing. It was awesome. I'm charging up the battery right now and then I'll be out playing with it again. That's what I have to say about the Terra Scout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are new to the channel and you're just swinging on by, I make uh, all sorts of Nerf videos from Nerf Wars to reviews like these and much more. So be sure to subscribe because I have new videos every single Saturday. As far as this one goes, that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed and as always, this was Nerf Boy Productions. Signing off.